Hi, this is Tim from Total Lockout. We've put together for you today another short video which looks at different locking devices for locking lever operated butterfly valves. Hope you enjoy the video. So in this video today we're looking at different ways of locking a butterfly valve. We've got three different locking devices here and we're going to look at, it, look at each one of them separately. But first of all, we'll just quickly talk about the butterfly valve. I've got an example here. I think this is a three inch butterfly valve. It derives its name from the, the shape of the, the vein uh, inside the, the bore of the valve. Uh, and it's so designed because it allows you to throttle the flow of liquid or gas through the, through the valve. You can see there, as I'm turning the lever, uh, you, you progressively open or rather progressively increase or decrease the rate of flow through the through the bore of the valve. Um, the other thing that's common with this style of valve is uh, the lever mechanism. Uh, you can see here it's got a this lever here is about uh, about eight inches long which is suitable for this size of valve but importantly it's got this trigger release mechanism uh, and what that means is with this trigger release it's got a little uh, catch you can see on the underside which can be engaged in one of the corresponding teeth uh, on the underside of the bonnet of the valve here, uh, which means you can kind of essentially stop it from uh, stopping the, the amount to which the valve is open changing because of that tooth being locked in there. Um, and so the only way to, uh, to operate a valve is by depressing this trigger. So you have to depress this trigger. So the locking devices that we're going to look at all, all feature on that aspect of how this valve is operated uh, and work by stopping this trigger from being pulled. Um, we've got three different devices here, as I mentioned. Uh, the first one here, um, originally manufactured by Archon Safety that became uh, North Safety, which uh, was later acquired by Honeywell. Um, as far as I know, you can no longer buy uh, this product from that original origin, but this product has been uh, widely, widely copied by other manufacturers around the world now. Um, it originally went under the uh, product code of BSO4, uh, but like a lot of these things, depending on um, which manufacturer it comes from, the product code and the description will vary a little bit. So this is in two parts. It slides apart just like this. And the, uh, the outer part will go over the top of the lever, like so. And when you engage the lower part, this area here will slide up inside this trigger area here. So you can see as you do that, it becomes a blocking agent for that trigger release. So all the time that you can't pull the trigger, it means you can't operate the valve. So essentially locking the valve. If I just flip that over there, you can see the place now where you can put your padlock. Uh, the padlock uh, can fit through any one of these holes. Popping the padlock in, like so, uh, taking the key out, that stops this section from being slid off and thereby leaving the device intact. Okay, so we'll remove this one and we'll move on to the next one. So this next one is from the manufacturer Brady. Uh, they describe it as a universal valve locking device and uh, this one is particularly good in that um, not only can you use it on butterfly valves, but you can also, with some add-on accessories, use it on ball valves and gate valves. So how this works is it's got this large thumb screw, which you uh, unscrew to a point, and then you've got this spring-loaded uh, collar here. By pulling it up against the spring, allows the jaws here to move open, and that then slides over the lever like so, if I just spin that around here, you can see this component here is now becoming a blocking device 
for the trigger. You have to uh, tighten the screw up, uh, uh, tighten up the locking uh, knob here until such time as it's screwed right down and won't turn any further. And now you can put your padlock through the hole here, lock it up, and that jams the that jams the knob so you can't unscrew it. So that device is clamped and it's jamming the trigger of the uh, of the lever of the butterfly valve. Uh, like other lockout devices, this device um, has also been copied by other manufacturers around the world and also comes in different, slightly different styles and different uh, part numbers. So if I loosen off the knob, that allows me to squeeze the collar and release the vise. You can see it's very easy to put on and put off. Uh, last of all, we've got this device here which is made by Masterlock. It comprises two parts. We have the S2, uh, sorry, S3920 and a small cable locking device, the S806. I think this is the shorter version, of, uh, shorter cable version of the 806. Uh, like the other two devices, this also works on jamming the trigger. And that's achieved through this, this component here. So what happens here is this slides up in this gap here and then it's secured in place with the cable. So if I quickly unravel the cable here, I can illustrate how that's held in place. So the, uh, you can just about see here, if I put this, hold this up to the camera, you've got these three padlock holes here. Uh, sorry, three cable holes, not padlock. Slide that on. Um, one of those three holes will line up with a corresponding hole on the other side allowing you to pass the cable through. With the cable passed through, pull up as much of the slack as you can, and then wrap the cable around something that's fixed. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use these holes here in the valve body, but you could equally use a valve adjacent to this, or a piece of uh, steelwork that's nearby, or perhaps a handrail. Uh, but basically you're looking something that's fixed and static through which to uh, pass the cable. So I'm going to quickly pull it through the body of the valve here. There's a little direction arrow on here which shows you which way you should pass the cable. Feed the cable into the hole on the underside here. Pull up as much as the slack as you can. Then you can see this lever trigger part here folds down to line the padlock holes. Now, in pushing that down, what you're doing is you're clamping the cable so the cable can't be pulled back. But a good feature of this particular cable lockout is you can pull up, you can still pull the cable through in that, in that direction to take up any slack. Once that's pulled up tight, put on your padlock, lock the device, take out the key, and you can see now that by adding the cable, the jamming device is securely held in position. And like the others, you can't, you can't pull the trigger to release the device. So there you have it. Three different types of locking devices, all designed for locking butterfly valves. Each, each version uh, is available from different manufacturers, uh, but essentially all identical in function. It all just boils down to your personal preference. Thanks for watching.